In cybersecurity, every second counts. A report by IBM found that the average time to detect and contain a breach is 280 days. Anomaly can help you optimize your security defenses, taking you from alert to fix in minutes. Take a look at this example. My team received an alert from CISA, and I have reason to believe that we might be targeted by the Vice Society. This alert contains a significant amount of valuable data, but it could take me a long time to input it all into my threat intelligence platform. So I'm going to use a tool we called Lens to read this document and highlight the key information and import it into ThreatStream. Lens pulls out all of the relevant information from the document and highlights those that are already known and active in ThreatStream. And there's one indicator that's inactive and six that are unknown to us. We can highlight any of those unknown indicators and import those into our collection of intelligence. Let's take a look at the red circle with the word match and the number two. There are two observables in this document with matches to logs in our environment. The first one is of medium severity and 100% confidence. It also has more than 4,000 log matches in our environment. The second indicator, also an IP address, has again more than 4,000 log matches in our environment. Let's click on it to get more information. Immediately, you can see documentation of this observable in our environment. The action is described as allowed, so it has been allowed but logged in our environment. You'll also see with the retrospective search that it was first seen on November 6th. Now let's dig a little deeper into this observable. It is reported by multiple organizations as a malicious or suspicious IP address. So the first thing I want to do is stop the outbound traffic. To do so, I simply tag this indicator with a tag that sends it to the firewall's dynamic IP address list. And you can see here in my integration tool that my firewall receives IOCs of high confidence or high severity or the ones I manually decide to send it with a tag. Now that we've blocked the traffic, let's dig more deeply into the data. We want to conduct an investigation to see if more has happened within our environment related to this outbound traffic to the malicious IP. We will begin an investigation, name it, and I'll assign it to myself. Going into the investigation, we can see the IP address we've identified from the CISA alert. The first thing I want to do is enrich this data with more information. I'll start with the actor. And here is Vice Society as we'd expect to see them. I'll delete this extra information to clear up our space. Since we're seeing Vice Society in our environment, I want to enrich this information with observables tied to the actor. We've got domain names, hashes, autonomous system numbers, a few tags, and some threat bulletins. We can get additional information about each one of these aggregated items by clicking on it. The information will show up in the right panel. Notice that only the IP address has a red dot on it. That tells me we are not seeing any hashes or other evidence from our logs that Vice Society has been in our network. Let's check to see if there are any vulnerabilities that Vice Society is known to use. Yes, we find two of them, but neither of them have matches in our environment. I feel comfortable that we've covered our bases at a high level. Let's save this and send it off to our ticketing system to get another set of eyes on it. We can send it to IBM Resilient, Jira, or ServiceNow. Finally, we can view the Vice Society's TTPs against the MITRE attack framework and even compare our security coverage to determine where we might want to strengthen our security against Vice Society in the future. There you have it, from alert to blocking outbound traffic, investigating our environment, and opening a ticket, all in less than four minutes and only with Anomaly.